Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes All The Way from Down Under with the Counter-Strike Global Offensive Top 5 Plays of the Week. I'm bringing this series back and as always, if you go and post your Steam ID in the comment section below, I'll randomly go and choose one person get a case key. Number one goes and gets one as well. Now coming in at number 5, we've got Matterfall on Dust2 using the M4A4. He's got a flashbang and he chucks it straight into tunnels, whips out the M4A4 and he's gone for a massive spray down, takes out one. Moving towards the tunnel, sees a ton of enemies, sprays them all down, whips out the USP. There's just one terrorist left, a couple shots to the chest, he goes and gets taken out as well. A clean ace, solo held the B side. Now coming in at number 4, we've got Julie Sun. Now he's playing on case, using the AK-47, obviously terrorist side, playing very aggressively. He's in a very unconventional spot, just waiting for a counter-terrorist, just to get a little bit out of position. He's got directly on head height. This guy, is he going to go and peek out? Yes, he does. Gets sprayed down, pulls out into the open, goes and gets a second. Now he's got free reign of the bomb site. Chucks out a smoke, goes out. A bit confusing for the CT, thinking, all right, he's chucked the smoke. No, he's probably going to be in sight. But he actually peeks out, gets a couple of shots on target. And now with his whole team on site as well, bombs being planted, the CT's gone for the retake. How is he going to go and deal with it? Sees one enemy in the corner of his eye, takes him out with a headshot. Another just pops out in the middle of nowhere. That was an easy kill. And the third one is fairly easy as well. Just really good use of angles. Three. Now taking the number 3 spot is Wii IV on Dust2 using the Orb. He's got that knife out just looking for that extremely aggressive pick at long and he goes and gets it. That's the first blood of this round and he's just waiting for any other terrorist to go and pick that corner. But generally when you see one of your terrorist brothers die, you generally don't go and flood straight through, especially with this guy on the Orb. However, he knows the terrorists are now pushing A site through short. Picks off one. He's going to go for the second. Misses the first shot. Goes and gets it on the second, however. Now looking for any other terrorists to go and kill. He's in a bit of a bad situation. Got a great angle on short. Goes and takes out one. However, there's just one person left. He twitches and takes that guy out. He aces the team in the most spectacular way possible. Taking the number 2 spot is Congo on Mirage using the AK-47. He gets a quick early kill, however it's still not looking very good. It's a 2v4 at the moment, it's, it's going to be a 1v4, his teammate's going to go and die. And he has to go and solo siege a bomb site. Extremely, extremely difficult given the situation that he's sieging the A bomb site on Mirage. One of the harder bomb sites to do. Look how many nooks and crannies there are for CT to go and hide. But that doesn't matter. He goes and pulls off a ridiculous twitch for a first kill. Then the second, then the third. It's already down to a 1v1. What am I talking about? He's just going absolutely ham mode. Tries to go and jump along the gap. Seeing where this last CT is, he takes a little bit of damage. The CT takes basically none. But he's scared the CT off enough, so he can go and plant the bomb. Now he's got position in sight. The CT's got to go and engage on him. So that means he can go and sit in a really weird and wacky position, bait out the bomb timer, and hopefully go and win this 1v1. So he's just going to go and sit in the corner of this bomb site, just waiting for us where CT could be. He gets flashbang, so he's got a general idea where he may be. And just holding down that one singular angle, just seeing if he's going to be moving towards that bomb. But that headshot in mid-air, absolutely insane. Now coming in at number one, the clip that beats them all is Sora on Dust 2 using the Desert Eagle. He's just holding the cross, waiting with the Deagle for the one shot, one kill, and gets it. Gets the headshot, then sprays the rest of the bullets, just a uh, bit of suppressing fire. The rest of the T's are crossed, but he goes and picks up a second one. Now that's smoked off, they eventually go and wisen up. Another person goes for a flank, but he gets taken out with a couple body shots. One person drops down, he gets shot in the head, and now it's down to a 1v1. It's the Desert Eagle versus an Assault Rifle, so he is going to be in a lot of trouble if he doesn't go and get that one shot, one kill. Fires a couple bullets into the bomb site. he knows the terrorist is there, drops down, doesn't want to go into a straight up gunfight, tries to go for mid-air tag, 
but he's going to play a bit sneaky. Just goes and shoots him straight in the head. He's going to go and get the bomb defuse as well. That was legitimately a 1v5 clutch with a deagle, with the defuse. I'm sorry, if that is not one of the best clips you've ever seen in CSGO, then I, I can't even I can tell you otherwise. This, this shit is absolutely amazing, and this is for week, what, five or six? I can't even believe it. This is absolutely insane. I've done this series for quite a long time, but I'm bringing it back with the quality of these clips. I am so, so impressed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you go and give it a like rating and send in your clip for next week. But other than that, Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under.